Dear Yahweh, please help me to share this dream, as it is very has been very difficult for me. Please help me, Father. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. So I'm going to go ahead and share this dream because the Lord wants me to share this dream, but I'm telling you this is hard for me because I, I don't know how to explain this. So anyway, here's the dream. So in the dream, I was in this old timey church. I mean, it was, it was clean and everything, but it was designed like an old church and it was, you know, a nice size church. But anyway, there was these seats in the church and in the dream, I was in the church with my brother, the one that I've seen in dreams before that I was working with in the tribulation. So anyway, Jesus came over and he motioned with his hands. He was looking at me and told and was telling me to get these get get um something from in back of the chair. So then uh in back of this chair was this pocket. Uh, and I reached in and I pulled out three books and they looked like children's books. I mean, clear as day, they looked like, you know, little children books. And I instantly knew that those books represented the word of God. They represented the knowledge is what I said in the dream. And then I wanted to instantly give them to my brother. And he was looking at me like I was crazy. Like, what do you, what do you, you know, what is that? And he wouldn't take it. He couldn't receive it. And the Holy Spirit instantly spoke to me in a dream and said that the books represent, I mean, I'm sorry, that the books are for the people that represent the word of God and that my brother represented the spirit of God and he could not receive those books. Okay. And I did not want to share this dream because I don't want anyone to thinking that the word of God is not for the people to represent the spirit of God or anything like that. So I really don't want to share this dream. But anyway, the thing is, I think what the Lord was showing me is that the understanding in these books, because they didn't look like the Bible. It was just, I think it was saying that, and it was thin books, thin looking children's books, that it was a supernatural understanding that the Lord was going to, was going to give me and that not everyone can receive the understanding that he was giving me. I think that that is the message to take away. And I don't know if this has anything to do with my birthday, which is coming up in a few weeks. I don't know if God is saying he's giving me a gift or, or what. I don't know. Cause I've had dreams like that in the past where I felt like he was giving me a gift and he did in real life. So and so have my children. So I don't know about that. But, you know, um, of course, everyone reads the Bible and understands the Bible. So don't don't think I'm saying that at all. I just think that, you know, some people get a different understanding that uh, other people don't get. And, you know, some people have other gifts that people don't get. Like they, they more in tune with healing and you know, a lot of spirit people, people that are more in tune with the spirit of God, let me put it that way. They usually, you know, can be better at healing, bringing the anointing into a room and, you know, things like that and casting out devils. Not that I don't do all of those things. So God knows I've done it all. I've done healing, uh, casting out devils clearly, uh, clear as day and bringing the anointing. But I've noticed that my anointing seems to tap in more the more I read the Bible, like I seem to go to a higher level in God by just reading the word. So I, I love to read the word. I sit and read the Bible for hours and hours and take notes and put together Excel files and things that I'm studying. I just something that I just love, love to do. And I, I've noticed that. And I notice a lot of people who are more in tune with their spirit, like my littlest daughter, this girl can sit and since she was five years old and she can just worship God. She just likes to, to just worship God and, you know, and things like that. And, and I worship God too. Don't get me wrong. But I, I think for me personally, my something about the word of God that just makes me beam up. I just love reading the Bible. I just completely love it. It is what my heart's desire is. And I'm, I'm more in tune with that than anything else. 
with God. You know, I do worship and everything too, but I find myself having to set some time aside to worship, which I do every day. Glory to God. No praises to me. But when it comes to reading the Bible, I don't have to set a sad time. I just, I just have to do it. As soon as I wake up in the morning, I'm reaching for that Bible. Uh, I don't go to sleep without reading it again. And I'm reading it throughout the day and I'll, I'll think about something. I'll say, oh, let me go read this. You know, I just love the Bible. <laughs> That's just me. So anyway, I love teaching the Bible. You know, I, I do Bible studies and things like that. I don't do them as often as I would like to. I used to do them every week, but I've been so busy lately that I haven't been able to do them every week anymore. So anyway, this message may be for someone else too, um, you know, and just pray about it. Maybe that's why God wants me to share it. I did not want to share it. To me, it's personal, but I was told to share it and... Something else that I feel the Lord is telling me to share. So I'll probably make that video after this one. I don't know. I've been holding off on that one for a while. But anyway, God bless everyone. If you have any insight about this dream as well, please let me know, you know. And um, I appreciate it. God bless you all. Bye.